line that we have given to the district administration there has been no response from uh, from the district administration so as a union we cannot just stay silent on this matter because this matter has been pending for a very long time we have petitioned the district administration the concerned ministers over a long period of time uh, since the year 2019 but till date there has been no response and uh, no action taken uh, on their behalf uh and the only uh, reason that they have uh, cited is that the land is still under uh, undergoing some litigation cases but we as a union we cannot accept that uh, just because they are pending litigation case that doesn't mean that uh, the uh, these illegal settlers from time to time they will come uh, in huge numbers and come and settle down here uh, as we have seen in the prior years the numbers of illegal settlers out here was were quite less in comparison to now Now there are more than 70 houses uh, approximately, and more than 300 people have been staying here. Even though the Dorbashnong uh, has stated that they never provide any residential certificate, but it is shocking to see that most of the residents out here, uh, all of them have their epic. Uh, who from where did they get the epic? That is still a big question. So today, as a first mark of protest against the district administration for keeping silent, we have built a small house, and this is to be given. to the local indigenous people who uh, who are in search for houses as you know there are many students from other districts who are coming from other district of uh, of the state who wants to who wants to study here but they have no place they have no means of income to settle uh, in chillon because as you know the rent is quite high we've been constructing houses uh, every week every month for our people